Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we calculate the torque required for electric vehicle. So let's start. Firstly, we need efficiency, which is eighty-five percent. Uh, these values I explained in my previous video. Efficiency equals to power output divided by power input. Now power output equals to efficiency into power input. Power output equals to torque into unit angular speed. Efficiency zero point eight five to power. Last video power comes equals to one four five eight watt. So we use this power one four five eight. Omega equals to two pi r two pi into rpm divided by sixty. Now two into three point one four into last time rpm comes in nine forty one nine forty one divided by sixty. This to ninety eight point four nine. The value of mega now torque equals to zero point eight five into one four five eight divided by omega ninety eight point four nine is equals to twelve point five newton meter. This is the value of torque that is required for a vehicle. Or we directly find it a simple method. We take one newton meter equals to ten kg. So for one hundred eleven kg, value comes to eleven point one newton meter, which is close to this value. So these are the, this value is a approximation value. Now, if you don't know about power, that is this, then torque will be calculated as torque equals to radius into force. Now, what is force is equals to mass into acceleration. Mass is triple one into acceleration. Now, how to find acceleration? Is acceleration acceleration equals to velocity upon time. Last time, velocity equals to uh, forty-five meter uh, kilometer per hour. So, acceleration is n zero to forty-five kilometer per hour. It be fifteen second from zero to forty five. It takes fifteen seconds. Therefore, twelve point five meter per second takes fifteen second. It's twelve point five divided by fifteen equals to zero point eight three. So this is the value of acceleration. Acceleration equals to zero point eight three meter per second square. This value. This value is used in here. Zero point eight three is equal to ninety two point five newton. This is the force. Now radius of the vehicle. In last video, I give the radius equal to zero point one two seven meter. So use this zero point one two seven. Force ninety two point five equals to eleven point seven newton meter. So, value of torque is approximately equals to these values. So, these are the calculations for torque. 
if you have power then use this if you don't have any power or any other values use this okay friends if you like this video please subscribe my channel and for any queries please comment this video is on batteries connections or battery calculations that how to decide the size of battery how to decide the ampere in battery okay friends goodbye have a nice day